progress. Luna, are you going to take today's class? Luna, are you going to teach? What are you going to teach? Now you got to look at the camera. You look at the camera. You're going to teach. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Everyone's coming in. A few late comers, that's all right. How are we going? We've got Zach. Let's make sure, guys, if you can hear me, try and make sure your name, um, your name there is, is your name. If you're with a brother or sister, I'll ideally chuck both names on there. That'd be great. So I've got Aaron and Liam. You guys are already all over it. Zach Taylor. Who have we got there on Zara's? Is that Zara and who? We've got two Zara. We've got, we got two kids there. Who have we got? Zara and Shyla. Zara and Shyla or Shyla? Shyla. Like Shyla. 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 Okay. <laughs> Shyla. Zara and Shyla. Terrific. G'day, Will. How you going? We've got Tom. We've got Amber. Marvin. We've got, that looks like Anton. 
Hannigan, are the other boys there? Anton, what are they doing? You got your Canberra Raiders jersey on. Don't know about that. You got Ty, how you going, Ty? Asha, how you doing, Asha? Big time. We've got Ben. G'day, Ben. How are you, mate? You don't have to have your camera on, guys. It's fine if you want to leave it off. No stress. That's not, that might be, is that Will, not Ben? We've got Molly. Hey, Molly, how you going? Ah, Chyla. I thought I got Chyla. Perfect. Well done. Thanks for that. Thanks for changing that. It can be a bit hard to hear. Hey, Edie, Matthew. All right, guys. Terrific. So that's my dog there. That's not me, just in case you were wondering. That's not. I'm in my shed today, so you might see my pup strolling around. If she gets really excited, she might tackle me, um, which will make for some interesting viewing. She's a bit rambunctious at times. I'm just going to screen share and show you guys the session plan before we really start to crack into it. So I've got some stuff for you guys today, um, hopefully, because I know we've got some varying levels of players in here. It'll be reasonably challenging at, at stages, but we can always drill down on a little bit. Okay, so um, remember, you'll need your basketball. You obviously need enough space to move around freely. That's going to be tough for some of us today. I'm indoors because... Obviously, it's raining here. I'm down in Mornington, so it's raining where I am. The sun is out, but it's somehow raining. Um, I can see all different weather types in the background of your guys' screens. I can see some sun in William's face, and then it looks like Zara and Chyla have some sun, but then it looks like it might be raining in other parts. So um, we just decided to go with play it safe and go inside. You will need a wall or a partner, ideally, to pass to. So if you can get to somewhere where you've got a, a brother or sister or you've got a parent that can help you with some passing drills, um, particularly, I would say, for some of our kids that are either rep level um, or, or um, high level sort of domestic looking to try out for rep, things like that, I'm going to challenge you today with a couple of ball handling into passing sort of one-hand passing drills. I'm going to show you using my, my handy tossback net here that I've got. So you can see my setup here. I've got a little toss back net there that I can pass off of and do some ball handling. Um, that's been keeping me busy. So if you've got a wall, a partner or something, you can throw the ball off. That'd be great. Uh, you know, you, if you've got a hoop and you've got access to it and it's not raining, that's great because the drills can, we can always build in shooting and layups into all of our passing and dribbling. Uh, drink bottle. You'll need some markers or cones. I don't think we'll need the toilet paper today. I probably need to take that off, but we will try and get to a little Olympic and Paralympic themed exercise at the end and, uh, and then we'll do our trivia. So our first drill today, guys, is called the jab and attack drill, the jab and attack drill. So what you'll need, uh, we'll, we'll do a warm up first, but what you'll need for that jab and attack drill is you will need your partner or, or something to pass off to receive the ball, or you can just spin it out to yourself. Um, that is all going to be about footwork, okay? So working off of a pivot, which we learned last week, or we learned a little bit more about a pivot, we're going to add in a jab step and then an attack dribble and a retreat dribble, okay? So really high-level intensity drill. We've got the pound and pass drill, okay, which we did a bit last week. We're going to do again, and I'm going to build into that a little bit more. Then we're going to finish with our defensive slide and our reactive drill um, before we get, if we've got time, we'll get into the Olympics and Paralympics before our quiz. So I will stop sharing. We'll be quiet. I'm going to spotlight myself here, and then we're going to get into a warm up. So, everyone, body weight. You won't need your uh, you won't need your basketballs just yet. Let's step back from our cameras. Okay, if you've got a bit of space with all of these drills, if you've got a little bit of space, you can jog up and down. Okay, you don't have to jog on the spot. You don't have to do high knees on the spot, but it's totally up to you. We're going to go 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds here of just jogging on the spot. Okay, 30 seconds jogging on the spot or we can jog and turn it into a little shuttle run. So we're actually pushing off and changing direction. So I don't have a lot of space here, but I can get three or four steps in, okay? And it's working on that change of direction. Just make sure you change which foot you're pushing off with, okay? So pushing off right foot, left foot, okay? Working those muscles again, getting that change of direction in, okay? Here we go. We're gonna go for another 10 seconds. And then we're going to do some high knees. So if you're doing this on the spot, just jogging on the spot, that's okay. Three, two, one. Okay, so high knees now. So straight into high knees. So same, same thing. We're just driving our knees up as high as we can, pumping our arms. So I'm going to go back and forth. Turn around. And go again. Turn around. Go again. 
Good job, good job. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Resting there, okay? Little breather for five, 10. And we're gonna go side steps. So again, we're just pushing off from side to side, getting that lateral movement in. Lateral movement side to side, moving across our screen, across the space that we've got. Okay, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Here we go. Push off, push off. Put all your weight into that one leg. If you can, like that. Just really good for that change of direction, strength. Push off. Good work, guys. Here we go. Let's get a bit of a sweat up now. Let's get nice and warm. Pick it up. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Okay. Good work, good work. What we're going to do now is just 10 body weight squats. Okay, so on the spot where you are, sitting down on that imaginary chair, explode up. Sit down on that imaginary chair, explode up. 10 squats in your own time, at your own pace. Try and go slowly down. So count to three on the way down. One, two, three, and explode up. That's the best way to do a squat for the development of our lower body muscles. Still developing and working on that explosive power on the way up, which is obviously good for sprinting, jumping, landing. Good job. Once we've done 10 of those, we're into our squats. Okay, we're gonna go into an arabesque. I don't know if I've done arabesque with this group. It's essentially, we're balancing on one leg. We're gonna bring our left knee up, keep our right leg down to start with. And we are kicking that left leg back as we bring our chest to the ground. And we point our chest at the ground. That left leg stays active and up. And then we come and swing through and we bring our knee through. So it's, it's, it's a bit of a stretch for our, our grounded leg. Okay, it's a bit, bit of activating our core, a little bit of balance as well. Really good exercise to get really good at. Okay, so we're right foot down, left knee up kicking that left heel back towards the wall behind me, trying to keep my back straight, focusing on my balance and then swinging that knee through and up. I want you to do five on either side. Kick that left leg back, swing that left knee through. Good job, five on either leg. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're gonna get started. Whoop and come up, good job. I'm going on my right leg, so my left foot's down, I'm kicking that right leg back, I'm trying to keep my back straight, my chest at the ground, drive that right knee through and up. Oh, excellent. Remember guys, I always say, without being too silly, I'm encouraging you guys, if you wanna turn the microphone on, fire questions at me, have a chat, whatever you want, okay? With this session with you older kids, some of our rep, kids and some kids that are aiming to play rep or have been playing domestic for a while happy to answer questions and chat along with you as we're doing the session okay that's our warm-up done grab a drink who's taking me up on that offer already someone <laughs> grab a drink all right really quickly you'll need your basketball for the jab and attack drill i love this drill i've been i'd be, be lying if i said i hadn't been doing this in my own free time all right, so I'm gonna show you from a straight on view, but then I'm gonna to move to my, my little passing net that I've got there because I like to incorporate that into my drill a little bit, all right? I've got two cones. Now, you guys can use markers, uh, you can use rocks, you can use sticks. I don't mind at all. What we're gonna to do today is we're building from last week. So last week, we just did our turnouts with our shooting, yeah? So we, we caught the ball, and we pivoted 180 into our shot. Now what we're gonna do is these two, you might've heard me mention it last week. These are our defender's feet. So there's my defender's right foot. Hopefully you guys can see that. I need to move back, not forward. There it is. There's my defender's right foot. Here's my defender's left foot. Okay, there's my two markers there. So my defender is down in a defensive stance like so, yep. That's what we're imagining right now. That's where you want to put those 
cones, all right? What we're going to do, you're going to have your wall next to you here. So I've got my, I've got my uh, toss back net to my side here. I can throw it. I can throw it to my toss back if I want, if you guys want to mix it up a little bit. Okay, so you can see here, you can't see the toss back. It's out of picture right now, but I might throw to my toss back. Terrible pass. I might throw to my toss back, get the ball and get down into a triple threat. All right. If you don't have a wall or a partner to pass you the ball, just spin it out to yourself from either side. We're going to mix up our sides. Okay. So I need you guys to stay locked in here, but I'm going to start receiving the ball from my right hand side. Okay. I know it looks like my left hand on camera, but this is my right hand side. Trust me, it's mirrored. Okay. So if I want to spin it to myself here, I'm coming to a two foot stop. Okay. So remember that one sound, spin it out. Boom. One sound, two foot stop, I'm in triple threat. Okay, I'm not catching up and down. I'm not catching like this and then coming down. I am catching, spinning it out, catching in a triple threat. All right, from here, what we're going to do, from here, what we're going to do, because we've received the ball to the right, from the right, we are going to catch, we are going to jab with our left foot. Okay, so outside of this cone, see, this is my, this is my defender's right foot here. So again, remember my defender is facing me like this. So it's my defender's right foot. So I catch it, triple threat, jab with my left foot, not too far, okay? So I'm just getting my foot just outside that cone. I don't want to go all the way out here. Now I'm off balance, yeah? Now I'm off balance. Now it takes me too much effort to come back here. I just want catch, two foot stop, triple threat, jab just outside, take off right okay now if you've got a hoop i'm inside i'm in a shed but you might set these cones up so that you're at about the free throw line okay you might spin it out triple threat jab left take off right into a layup yeah so you might set it up at the free throw line facing the hoop that's totally up to you guys if you have access to that right now if you're like me and you don't I'm just working purely on the footwork. So I'm spinning, triple threat, jab with that left foot now, and I take off. Remember, I have to take off with my left foot. So it's a bit awkward. I jab with my left, and then I rip my left back and push off. And I actually lead with my left. So it's because of the way my pivot foot works, my right foot's my pivot, jab with my left, take off with my left also, okay? I want to do five of those, okay? If you are finishing with a layup, okay, mix it up. So we're jab, dribble, finish with a layup, you do five. If you don't, if you're indoors like me, I want you to do 10 because it will be a bit quicker. Here we go. So all game pace, everyone step away from the camera now, follow along with me, spin the ball out to yourself, triple threat, jab left, take off. Okay, come back, reset, we're doing 10. Those of us that are indoors, jab, take off, okay? Remember to stay low. There's no reason to come up yet. So we're here, two foot stop, triple threat, rip left, rip back across, and off we go to our right. If you've got a hoop, you're doing five. If you don't have a hoop, you're doing 10. Let's go. Okay, here we go, I've done four. Jab, push off. Try and explode. So as soon as you've made that jab step, the defender's off balance. You've got to explode out of the picture. Remember, we work in straight lines. Boom, boom. Okay, we work in straight lines. We're not dribbling out this way or this way. The hoop is where, for me, the hoop is where you guys are at the camera. Okay, so I need to be jabbing, not straight at the camera, Okay, but I need to be jabbing on about a 45 degree angle to get my defender to open up their hips to take off again and still be heading somewhere at the camera. Okay, so we're here. We should have done, we should have done 10. Okay, if you're going into a layup, let's get five. Okay, I've got two to go here. Starting to get a bit of a sweat up. Triple threat, rip. Stay low, good, last one. Triple threat, rip, that's my last one. Here we go. So you should have 10. 
Good. So tie, good. Good, Molly. Rip, good. Awesome. Good, Molly, well done. Good, Aaron and Liam into the layup. Excellent. Good, Ben, nice left-hand finish. Catch, rip, that's it, good. Be careful there, I think it's Will. Just be careful with that pivot foot. If you're receiving from your left now, good, Ben. Don't pick up that pivot foot, good job. Good job, Hannigans, good job, Molly. Can't see you, Kobe, you must be getting a drink. You have the toss back as well, Kobe. You have the best court that I have seen. There's Chris giving a tutorial, I love it. Will, you should never travel. You, you, you should never travel <laughs> in this. You should be all over it. But we've got the zero step now, don't we, Chris? Good job, Zach. We've got the zero step, so you can pretty much do what you want. Yeah, good job. Well, well done. All right, so in case you hadn't picked up on it, some of us already have. I can see there the Hunt boys, I think, have picked up on it. Now we're going to spin the ball from our left, okay? So we're spinning from our left. Again, we're catching in triple threat. That was a bad footwork. Triple threat. Jab right, rip to our left now. Okay, so now it's just the same footwork in reverse. So catching, triple threat. We want to jab with our right foot, okay? Take off with our right foot, but to our left-hand side. Okay, so the reason we've got markers and cones here is because we're simulating a defender. Now, you might have your parent, you might want to use your parent as a fake defender, okay? You might spin the ball to yourself, or if you've got a toss back like I've got here, you might use the parent as a defender and you might jab step outside their outside foot and take off past their hip, all right? Couple of little things I'm noticing in the, in the last couple of reps that I watched. I think it was Molly. Ben, yours is not bad, nice crossover. But be really conscious of where you put the ball. Okay, I'm seeing you guys be a little bit loose with the ball, all right? So the last couple I saw there, Molly, not to, not to single you out, but everyone was doing it was we were catching, we're in a triple threat. Now it's hard to tell from front on, okay? But look where that basketball is. I am protecting that ball with my head, my shoulders, even my knees, if someone wants to come at me from whatever direction. And this elbow is out here as well, okay? I'm not saying I'm trying to hurt people, but we're protecting that ball, all right? That ball, we've got multiple parts of our body that people have to try and come through before they get to the ball. That doesn't change with the jab step. A few of you I'm seeing, at jab step, our ball is coming with it. Our ball is almost too much. Now, you need to jab. The ball does need to move, but it's really just across your belt. Yeah, it's across your, your waistline. I don't want to see the ball moving out like this. So a few of you, your jab step is looking like that, and you're bringing the ball back across right in front of the defender's face. Okay, that's just going to be a slap down or a slap up turnover. Okay, you're tempting fate there. So keep the ball, triple threat, keep it in your pocket. Okay, we're now jabbing right foot. Okay, so again, because my leg moves, my pocket moves. So my ball needs to, I need to put the ball where it looks like I'm about to take a dribble. Okay, but the ball's not coming down. Okay, it's just here as if I'm about to dribble. And then as I rip it across, I rip it across my belt buckle and I take off to my left. If you're inside, you're doing 10. If you're outside, go to a layup or a jump shot, you're doing five. Here we go, that's enough talking from me. Triple threat, jab, off we go. Let's go, let's work now. We should be able to get these done reasonably quick. I'm only gonna do, I'm only gonna do three or four, because I wanna come see you guys, see how you've, how you've worked on it. Triple threat, jab, rip. Okay, there's my last one, I'm coming to watch. Keep going, good Molly. Keep it in tight, Ty, nice, Ty, perfect. You still rip it across your belt. Good, Tom. Yep, think about where you're going. Think about where you're going. You're making a, you're making a loop there. Tom, don't, don't make it too loopy. You wanna jab step and you wanna imagine the defender's shoulders. You wanna blow by, keep the ball on your left-hand side if you can. Good job, Ty, it's really good. Here we go, Kobe. Yep, think about where that defender is. So you, Kobe, you're jabbing right and you're taking off to your left. Jabbing right, taking off to your left. Good job. Hannigan boys, jab right, take off to your left. Left hand dribble if possible, take off with your right leg. That's better, Kobe. Good boy.
good. I don't mind if you can't do a left-hand layup. Just do a right-hand layup, but we want to go on the left-hand side of the backboard. Good job, Ty. Good job, Aaron and Liam. So catching, jab, step. Good job, Molly. That's better. Keep it in nice and tight. Do you know what I'm talking about there, Tom? You were sort of, you were going circular. You were making like a semicircle to go back to the hoop. Remember, you're just attacking that defender's hip. So we don't want to go round if we can go direct. Excellent, guys. Good job, Will. Good job, Will. Good job, Edie. You got the punching bag there as well. So you can give the punching bag an elbow on the way past if you need to. That's good. Good job, Marvin. All right, once we've done five or 10, come to the camera, give me a thumbs up. Well done, Hannigan boys. Good, Zach. Good job, Molly. Well done, Molly. That was way better. Sorry to pick on you, mate. I wasn't picking on you. Everyone was doing it. I just happened to see you bring the ball out nice and wide away from your body. Keep it in nice and tight to your body and protect it. Got a couple that's still going. Keep working, guys. It's not a race. Grab a drink if you finish that. Grab a drink if you finish that. Just because of the time, we'll, we'll probably move on. But there's a couple of others I really want to build on that for you guys because you were doing a terrific job at it. I think some of you will, will understand how you can really build on that drill. But I'm going to give you a couple of tips that you can use. That's excellent. Good job. All right, everyone's back at the camera. Just really quickly, we're going to move on to our next drill. But that this is just such a really basic, but such a good thing to work on, okay, in terms of footwork. Oh, I missed that comment. What was that? Daniel, yep. Chuck your mic on, mate. Where's Daniel? Chuck a question in. Go for uh, it. How can, like, smaller players uh, score over larger players? Uh, good question, mate. I'll show you in one second. If I had my hoop, I'd show you. But smaller players score over larger players using footwork. So using what we just worked on, okay? So what that means is, and that's a really good question. So for anyone that didn't hear, Daniel, how can smaller players score over larger players? The funny thing is, Daniel, it's, it's not even so much about scoring over them, okay? Sometimes it's, it's too hard. There's ways we can do that. I'll talk about that quickly. But what I was just about to talk about then is a way that we can add to this drill, okay? Because it's, it's reasonably advanced, depending on if you're what level you're at right now, but it can be built on easily, okay? Don't forget these sessions are all recorded. So you can come back and revisit this because we're not going to go through reps of this, okay? Because we'll run out of time. But I just want to touch on this. So again, we come back to receiving the ball from our right. So I spin the ball out, two foot stop. So this is just a progression that you guys can do in your own time. So I jab left, okay? I could even add a pump fake in. Okay, so remember we talked about jump, like pump fakes or shot fakes last week. So again, the jab, the shot fake and the jab step have the same principles, right? They all look exactly like if I was just about to take off with a dribble. Okay, that's exactly how it would look. All right, so from the side, this is what my jab step looks like, okay? I actually need to be a bit lower. So I need to be, my old college coach used to say, be a spear, okay? Be a spear with your head. Don't be a shield, standing upright. Be a spear. So be down low because that's, your head is going to lead your body, okay? So let's say we're building on this. Two foot stop. Jab step, take off, okay? If you're working at a hoop, Daniel, to answer your question, what I would do is take one or two dribbles, get to the basket, come to another two foot stop. Yeah. So I'm under, I'm, I'm, I'm under a metaphorical basket right now. Come to a two foot stop. That's when you can use another jump, uh, another pump fake, another shot fake. That's how. hips and shoulders past your defender which this drill spinning it out to yourself and jabbing is all about getting hips and shoulders look where I am I'm past that left shoulder of my defender okay so that's that was the feedback I had for Tom Tom you were sort of going out here to go around there's a big big difference between saying going around our defender and going past them okay past them can mean we make contact with them, but because we are the aggressor, yeah, we're down low, okay? And we're a spear, not a shield. We go past them, we're low. 
They're going to have to move, okay? They're going to have to be a very good defender. So that's one way little, little players or smaller players can score over bigger players, all right? It's going to be a bit hard for me to show you too much else today. But again, for all of you, I would work on that, that, that same drill again. Jab step. Take a couple of dribbles at your hoop. Come to a two-foot stop, yeah? Try and re get really, really good at uh, the habit of playing off of two feet. And then you can rip... Okay, so if I'm on the left-hand side of the basket here, okay, so I'm metaphorically, I'm on the left-hand side of the basket here, I'd be ripping my left foot across my body, keeping my right foot down, and then going into a right-hand layup. If I came to a two-foot stop on the right-hand side of the basket, I'd keep my left foot, pivot foot down, rip my right leg across, and go up into a left-hand layup. All right. All right, who's that? Got a few more questions. Oh, I keep glitching. Do I keep glitching, guys? Sorry about that. Can you hear me okay now? Yep, you got me again. Could be my internet down here, I apologize. Hopefully the recording's all good. All right, grab a quick drink if you haven't already, guys. We're gonna move on really quickly. Daniel, I hope that answered your question a little bit. But if I was glitching, it might've been hard, hard to hear me. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera now so you can see my little toss back net there. And we're gonna do our pound, our pound and pass drill. So again, if you've got a partner, that's great. I've got no friends, so I've got to do this on my own. I've got to purchase materials such as this. Kobe, you look like you've got a great toss back net as well, mate. So all we're gonna do is we're just building on what we worked on last week. So we're gonna move really quickly through this, just working on push passing, push passing from one hand, okay? If you're still building into these type of skills if you're if you're just sort of starting domestic you're a little bit older and you've just started don't feel as though you have to try and mimic what i'm doing okay we are just going to go five dribbles on each hand okay so five five dribbles really hard okay so i'm going to be down i'm just going to go one two three four five okay if you want to stop there and go into a push pass or just a chest pass okay so you might go one two three four five chest pass step forward into a chest pass that's fine okay we're just working if you've got a wall or a partner work on the accuracy of that pass i know it seems boring okay it seems boring it seems pretty dry but honestly these are our master skills in basketball yeah shooting passing dribbling okay being able to defend your player all right these are our master skills that we need to get better at and passing is a skill unless we're playing we just don't work on it that much Okay, and some of the best players in the world are the best passes. So what we're going to do, that's, that's level one of the drill. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, chest pass. All right, if you're a little bit more advanced, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, push pass. Whoa, that pass went all over the shop. So you can see how much I need to work on it. Okay, we're going to do that five times. Okay, with our right hand. Okay, so right hand. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, push pass. Oh, that's a shocker. Okay, so you can see I need to work on it. If you're a chest pass, you're just stepping forward into a chest pass. All right, here we go. At your own pace. Step away from the camera now. We've got five hard control dribbles. We're down in a stance. One, two, three, four, five. Straight into a pass. One, two, three, four, five. Straight into a push pass. Here we go. Oh, shocker. Good. Okay, once you've done that, we go left hand. Once you do that, we go left hand. So same thing again, if you're just working on your chest passing, two hand passing, it's one, two, three, four, five on the left, step forward into a chest pass. One, two, three, step forward into a chest pass. If you're a little more advanced, you're not bringing that, you're not bringing that chest pass, you're not bringing that second hand on, you're just going one, two, three, four, five, straight into a push pass. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's my left hand passing. Okay, guys, keep going now. We got five pound dribbles into a left hand pass or into a chest pass. Here we go. Oh, it's a shocker. Here we go. 
Good. Keep working. Keep working. I got my five in. You guys keep working. Uh, push past. We stay low. Done. Done. Well done. Have a breather. Get a drink if you're done. We're going to build it up now. Pound the ball. Good, Tom. That's awesome. Doesn't have to be pretty. Doesn't have to be pretty, guys. If you're passing for the first time with your left hand, it's like when you first start trying to do a left-hand layup. It's not pretty. God, it feels weird. If you're a lefty and you're doing it with your right hand for the first time, that's great. This one can always be built into shooting as well. So if you've got a hoop there and you've got the net or you've got a wall near where your hoop is, I'm not saying do it now, but in your own free time, I was just saying to the last group, if you're just going out to just, just free time, relax and, and chill outside and you're just throwing up a few relaxed shots, that's fine. We all do that and we need to do that and it's healthy. But if you're trying to get better, if, you, if you're going outside to shoot with the intent to improve, you should always be thinking about, unless it's a specific shooting session for form shooting, always be thinking about how you can build ball handling and passing of some description into your shooting. Okay, always think about that. So we could do this same drill. Okay, you could have your, your, your wall next to your hoop or whatever. You could just be going here, pound dribble, three, four, five, toss back, catch and shoot, yeah? I know it's gonna be more time consuming. You'll probably get less shots up, but they're gonna be higher quality reps, yeah? So what we're gonna do now, okay? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go some, some quick hands, okay? Some quick hands into our passes. Now last week, and we'll do this again this week. Last week we went like double crossovers. Whoa. We went double crossovers into a pass, okay? We're gonna do that next, okay? So don't worry, we're getting to that, with that double cross into a pass. But right now what I wanna do is we're just gonna go figure of eight, okay? Figure of eight, so boom, boom, pass. Boom, boom, pass, all right? So it seems really simple and really easy, but it's an unnatural movement it's going to teach your body. You're going to have to get down really low, as you can see here. We're going to go left leg, right leg, right hand pass. Again, if you're chest pass, if you're not doing one hand push passes yet, that's fine. So we're left hand, right hand, step forward into a chest pass. Left hand, right hand, here's my coach, Luna, chest pass, okay? If you're into a push pass and you're up to that standard now, you've worked on it, that's okay. Left, right, push. Left, right, push. Straight into a single hand push. Five on each side. Try and speed it up. Get the heart rate up. Five on each side. So then when you're going with your left hand, you're gonna go right leg, left leg, push. Right leg, left leg, push. Right leg, left leg, push. A bit more of a challenge if you want. Move it back a little bit. Make sure you don't stand on your coach. Probably can't see Luna's just off screen there. Let's go. Here we go. Last one. Good. Good job. Good. So, figure of eight through the legs into a big push pass. Good job, Tom. Job, Aaron and Liam. Hold on, Asha. I know it can be hard with the wall. You might have to step back and throw it so the wall, it just bounces back to you. That's it. Good. I know it's a bit awkward. If you've got a wall and you've got somewhere you can safely mark, try and mark a target. You know, ask your parents to use some chalk, mark a target. Good job, Ben. Ben and Will, you guys challenge each other by going faster. Good job, Kobe. Well done, mate. You got a great setup there, Kobe. So, Kobe, you all day, you could be out there, push passes into dribble, push passes into up and unders, working on that sort of stuff. Good job. Good job, Matthew. Wrap it, wrap it real quick. Ben, you should be at the level now, mate, where that ball's not touching your second hand. Boom, boom, push pass. There you go, good job. Boom, boom, push pass. Good. Don't knock your brother over, but make that pass nice and hard. On target. All right. Everyone's still, we've still got a few working through that. That's good. But still got a few, everyone else grab a drink if you're done. Hopefully I'm not glitching anymore. No, nah, I'm getting a few nods. The Hannigans look frozen though, so I'm worried about their connection. All right. So last one for this, this exercise. It's a, I love using this toss back net and, and using this exercise. So in case you can't tell, 
I love building passing into what we're doing, ball handling and passing. So now we're going to go into our dribble combos, all right? So we did it last week. And again, depending on what level you're at, all it is is a double or a triple crossover, okay? So get creative. Kids that have been playing a little bit longer, that double or triple crossover, that might be as simple as cross between the legs behind the back. Oh, <laughs> oh hear me. All right, that might be cross, turn your legs behind the back, push past. Okay, if you are just starting out with your dribbling and you're crossing over, that might just be cross, 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 boom. Cross, cross, cross in front, boom. Okay, it's all as challenging as you make it. You go at your speed, okay, and you challenge yourself with whichever level you want. So if it's a triple cross in front, boom, boom, boom. You can go into a push pass or you can go triple, Step into a chest pass, all right? Ball's gonna start in the left hand, boom, 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 finish in the right. So we're gonna start in the left hand for five, triple crossovers, push pass or chest pass. We're gonna do five. Then we're gonna, then the ball's gonna start in our right hand, triples, push pass, okay? Same sort of setup. And then we're gonna move on, here we go. So I'm going cross between the legs on the back. Oh, I started in the wrong hand though, pay attention. Come back, push past. Okay, so you should be able to get a really nice pace up here. Oh. oh, no. And if you're fumbling it, that's good. If you're fumbling it, that means you're pushing yourself. And it means you found a weakness you obviously need to work on. If you're having trouble handling that ball, with no defenders around. There's work to be done, which is good. That's what we want. All right, so the ball just started in my right hand. I'm going to start it in my left hand and do five now. Here we go. Right, I'm going to start it in my right hand. Start it in my right. Here we go. Ah. Good. Get five. Get a breather. Let's go, Zach. Come on. Good job, Ben. Let's get that triple cross in, Ben. What do you got for me? Good job, Daniel. Nice. There we go. That's good. That's all we want to see. A little fumble. Nothing wrong with that. Good, Kobe. Good. Straight into that push pass, mate. Try and stay low with that triple crossover, Kobe. Good job. Try and stay low, knees bent. Boom, 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 good. Straight into the push. Good job. That'll get there. You'll notice that'll start feeling more comfortable. Good job, Tom. Boom, boom, cross in front between the legs. Whoa. See that left hand? That feels real funky, doesn't it? That's okay. That's okay. It'll start to feel more confident as you get better at it. If you're done, grab a drink. Marvin, Daniel, looks like you're done. Good job, Hannigan boys. Cross, cross, and push past. Good, oh, good, Anton. Challenge yourself a little bit. There we go. Good job, Molly. Well done, mate. Good work, Kobe. Good job, Ty. Triple cross. Good left hand push. Are you left hand or right handed, Ty? I'm left. You are left. I was going to say you look pretty natural on that left. How'd you go on your right, mate? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, mate. My left's still shocking. All good. We've got to work on it, though. We've got to be able to pass both hands, lay up both hands. Those master skills. We'll get them down pat. We've got a few people still finishing off. That's okay. We're going to quickly, we are going to get ready for our slide and lateral push drill. We're going to make it reactive right from the start. So we're going to get our heart rate up nice and high. No rush for those that are still finishing their passing. We want to get that right. So we're going to need three cones. So we did this last week. We're going to do three rounds. So it's going to be a little bit more about getting our heart rate up today than it is about teaching the, the strategy. Um, I just feel as though you, you guys will benefit a little bit more from that. So 
Oh, watch my camera here, twist it back here. So what we've got again is we've got our three cones. So we've got one to our right. I know it's the left of screen, but to my right here, we're gonna have one to my left and we're gonna have one out in front. So we're making a bit of a triangle. You might need, you might need to set this up in, in three or four different areas. If you've got multiple kids working off the one iPad, all right, you might need to find some extra space. What time have we got? Yeah, all right, I better get moving. So we're gonna do three rounds of this again. All right, we're gonna get, who, who, can, who can share, just who can give me some names? Who's the shooter out here on the left wing? Harry. Jeff Harry's our shooter again. Let's get some different shooters. Ty, I'm looking at your jersey, Ty. Who have we got on the right here? What? Who's that? Dally. Golding. Golding. Dally. <laughs> Dally hasn't played a game yet, mate. Give Golding some love. That's Chris Golding on the right here. Steph Curry on the left, Chris Golding. And I need a female player at the top here who's a shooter. We had Jenna O'Hay last week. Let's have someone else at the top here. Chris Golding. <laughs> Female, who's a female shooter? Top of the key. What about Frankston? What about Frankston player? Tessa Levy. Tessa Levy at the top of the key here. We're going to close out on Tessa. Okay. So we're going to go for 30 seconds, three times through. You're listening to my cues. So we need our triangle. Everyone get set up. Nice and done. All right. We've got Tessa at the top here. Steph on the, right, uh, on the left. Steph Curry. Tessa at the top and we've got Golding or Chris on the right, okay? So 30 seconds, we're going to go into pitter-patter when I say go, okay? So we're down in a stance, pitter-patter, okay? If I say Steph, boom, we slide across, we touch that, okay? If I say, um, <laughs> if I say uh, hey, Chris, we're right here, yep, come back to the middle, pitter-patter, Tessa, we close out, pitter-patter, hands high, all right? 30 seconds, here we go. We'll have a rest of about 20 seconds in between each one. A little bit of hard work to finish off the session. Here we go. Three, two, one, pitter patter. Here we go, pitter patter. Everyone down in the stance. Tessa, come back. Pitter patter again. Good job, good job, good job. Here we go, Steph. Get right outside, touch that cone, and come back and pitter patter. Tessa, push off. Pitter patter, come back. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Here we go, Chris. Close out to Chris Golding. Get back, pitter patter. Good job, Tessa. Hands high. Back pedal. Two more, two more. Pitter patter. Steph. Good. Come back to the middle. Good job, Tessa. Sprint out. Pitter patter. Back pedal. All right, up straight. Good job. We're going to rest for 15, 20. We're going to go again. Sarah and Chyla, watch out for the dog there. Here we go. We're going to go again in three, two, one. Here we go. Pitter patter. Pitter patter. Here we go. Tessa. Top. Close out at the top. Back pedal. Good job. Here we go. Chris on the right. Close out. Come back to the middle. Pitter patter. Good job, guys. Tessa at the top. Close out. Back pedal. Good job. Let's go. Two more. Steph on the left. Close out to Steph. Good job. Pitter patter. Last one. Hands wide. Chris, push oh. off and come back. Pitter patter. Good job. All right, you got 20 seconds. 20 seconds rest. We go one more. My feet are sore. Your feet are sore. <laughs> Keep working. Last one. Last one. Then we got trivia. We we'll finish off the session. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Pitter patter. Down in the stance. Close out to Tessa. Pitter patter, come back. Here we go. Let's work here. Steph Curry on the left. Here we go. Push off. Steph Curry, come back to the middle. Good job. Come on. Proper stance, Zach. Get down low. Golding on the right. Push off. Come back to the middle. Good job. Tessa at the top. Close out. Let's go. Two more. Finish off. Back pedal. Pitter patter, arms wide. Steph Curry. Oh, back to the middle. Pitter patter. Last one. Tessa at the top. Close out, hands high in the shooter's face. Back pedal. Good work. Awesome, guys. Grab a drink. Grab a drink. Get ready to cool down.
and do our trivia. Woo. All right, trivia time. Trivia time to cool down, do some stretching on the ground, hamstrings, quads, stretch your groins out. Make sure you come to a spot. Come to a spot we can see the screen. All right. So if you need a stretch, if you want to stretch some hamstring stretches, you can go one leg at a time. Put that right heel into your upper left leg. Reach out with your left hand. Come as far forward as your body will let you. Other leg. You've got your groins as well. Make sure we're cooling down properly, getting plenty of water in as well. So grab your drink bottles nearby. I can't stretch because I'm the, I'm the quiz master. Good job, Marvin. All right, so make sure you can press or put your, even just give us a thumbs up if you can't press the emojis. You guys know the rules now. No one yelling out. So I'm gonna quickly mute everyone. Make sure everyone's muted. Ty, Zach. Usual suspects. <laughs> oh, very good. So you can unmute yourself, or you can, uh, or you can give us a thumbs up in the camera. I can see everyone here on my laptop. All right, here we go. Oh, who just unmuted themselves? Make sure you stay on mute until your name's called. Stay on mute until your name's called. So share screen. And here we go, intermediate. You guys should be able to see that now, hopefully. You guys see that? Give us a thumbs up if you can see the trivia. Yep. Who was on? Muted, they shouldn't have been giving a thumbs up. All right, here we go. You guys know the rules, so I don't need to go through that again. I'll call your name. I will not accept any answers until I get to call your name, okay? Here we go. First question. Name all of the NBA teams Paddy Mills has played for. I'm looking for all of them. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up or the emoji. Uh, go on, Zach, have a crack at it. Go on, Zach. Brooklyn Nets. Oh, yep. two. I need two more. I need two more names. Spurs. So Yes, yeah, Spurs. Who else? There's one more. Everyone always uh, forgets. Three, two, one. Ba -ba -oh. You got two out of three. Not bad. Can anyone tell me the first team Paddy played for? Can anyone tell me? The first go on the Hannigan boys? Hannigan boys, you look like Portland. you might have, yep. Portland Trailblazers, well done. Good job, Portland Trailblazers. Very good. All right. Okie dokie. Here we go. What is the name of the Australian Paralympic women's basketball team? Oh, we need to start. This is, I put questions like this in for you guys, not to trick you, but because I want you guys to start to watch other formats of the game. All right, really, really interesting watching the Paralympics right now. There's a lot you can learn, okay, from both the, the men's and the women's teams. All right, it's really, really fun to watch. The way they compete, the way they get after it, the skill they use is unbelievable. Does anyone know? Zach, I'm not coming to you straight away. Zara and Chyla, you got a thumbs up there? Do you want to have a go? The gliders? Yes, well done. The Aussie gliders. Did you watch the game? Was it last night? Did you watch it last night? No, nah. no, nah. nah, they're, they're not going great at the moment, but they're having a crack. They're, they're 0 and 3 at the moment, but they're going, they're having a red hot crack. They're still in, I think they're, I think they're playing Canada uh, tomorrow or maybe tonight. So, guys, get, get around that. Watch, watch, watch some of that basketball. It's brilliant. Good job, Zara and Chyla. All right, next question. Uh, here we go. Which WNBL team does Tessa Levy play for? We just closed out on Tessa in our latest drill. She plays in the Women's Professional Basketball League in Australia. She also plays for the Australian Opals. She just came back from Tokyo. Who does she play for in the WNBL? Who knows it? Molly? No. Nah. Molly, any ideas? 
anyone? Here we got Daniel. Go on, Daniel. Fire away, mate. Uh, the Blues. No, that's in NBL one. Good answer. Usually a safe answer, and you'll at least get a smile out of me because she does play for the Blues. But that's in the the state league with us at Frankston. Zach knows it. Does anyone else want to have a crack? Aaron, do you know it? Nah, who Tessa plays for? Go on, Zach. Oh, Will, Will, Will Murray. Go, Will Murray. He knows for sure. Boomers. No, not the boomers. Do, who did you say? Sorry, you said boomers. Who? What was the first word you said? Melbourne boomers. No, no, it is a Victorian team. Amber, you've got a thumbs up. Bendigo Spirit. That's correct. Bendigo Spirit. Well done. She plays for the Bendigo Spirit. Good answer. Well done. Okay, well done, Amber. Here we go. Next question. Question four. Which player led the NBA in rebounds in 2021? And as a bonus, who was he playing for? Does anyone know who led the NBA in rebounding? Daniel's fixing his hair. Does he know? Go on, Daniel, have a crack. If not, Zach, it's yours. Uh, Dennis Schroeder. No, good guess, though, because of the hair. <laughs> good guess. Similar hair. I like where your head's at. Go on, Zach. He played for Rockets and he's Clint Capella. You got half points again. Half points again. He was not playing for the Rockets. I tricked oh. you. But the, oh. the right answer is Clint Capella. Who was he playing for? Atlanta. Atlanta Hawks. Yes. Good job. All right. Sorry about that, guys. My laptop has died. <laughs> For two sessions out in the shed here. I've drained the battery. That's okay, though. That was the second last question. I remember the last question because I just made the quiz this afternoon. Who knows how? Who knows how to spell? Well, firstly, who knows who Sarah Blitzarves is? Does anyone know who Sarah Blitzarves is? I'm looking at the girls here. Sarah Blitzarves, she played on the Opals team. She was on the Australian Opals. She got the late call up when Liz Cambage pulled out. Does anyone know? I know her first name, but I don't know her last. Sarah Blitzarves. All right. Might be a bit of a tough one. I was going to ask you guys to spell her last name. If it helps at all, she has a brother playing for Geelong in the AFL. They've got a very interesting last name. And it's it's spelt it doesn't spell it doesn't it's not spelled how it sounds blitzarves I believe or blickarves blickarves is probably a better pronunciation of it that's how it pronounced does anyone want to have a crack at spelling it quickly before we finish up blickarves no no one okay <laughs> that one was a bit of a tough one I thought I'd try and challenge this group it's spelled B L I C A BS Blitzards. I like it, Marvin. Not far off. Blick, Blick Arves. So they got marks in the AFL, but Sarah plays in the WNBL and also for the Opals. So Blick Arves, that's right. Lucia. I'm guessing that's Cormac or Anton, not Lucia, but that's exactly, that's the spelling. The spelling there, the, the Hannigan boys got it. B L I C A V S. Well done. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Great session. Uh, remember those drills you can work on the jab, the jab, pivot. Drill, there's my girlfriend waving in the background. <laughs> All right, guys, time to go. Uh, get outside. It looks like the weather's cleared up a little bit, no. so get some shots up. No worries, Amber. See you, guys. I'll see you. Bye. Hopefully see you next week. See you, Stay Jared. safe. See, see you later. Jared. Bye. Thank you. Thank you guys. Bye. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.